Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I want to show you guys some really cool mods that will make you want to mod your Switch if you still haven't decided. Other than the very obvious reasons that we are not getting any more updates for New Horizons, so therefore no new items unless you mod, and other than the most common reasons to mod, such as you having multiple islands, you can have cute wigs, a floral headband like the one I have now that actually sits on your head like it should and not on the top of your head, um, my mermaid tail, recoloring buildings, new custom villagers, and so many more cool items. But I want to show you the things that you may not know about that I think are just super cool mods. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's just jump straight into this video. The first thing I want to show you is being able to have a map that looks like this. That's right, I have four mini islands on my island instead of one big island that covers the whole map. It's really fun, especially for a tropical island, to have it all separated. But that brings me to my second cool mod, which is this bridge right here. So as you can see, I can have more than 10 bridges on my island. I can have so many, I can't even count how many I have, but you can connect it and anyone can walk on these. Even if you don't have mods and you come to visit my island, you can still use all of these bridges. And I just think it's so cool and actually so fun to run along all of these. I even made an extension of my dock here, connecting to my fourth bottom right island. And also there's an example of building recolors in the background. The next thing I think is really cool is this little button on Poker Core called Swim Club Mode. When you turn on Swim Club Mode, it makes you swim super fast. See, watch when I turn it off. I'm back to swimming very slowly again. And then I turn it on and boom, super fast. And I also can swim outside of the boundary. And it lets me go for like forever. You could get lost out here. Let's just see how far it lets me go. There's just water around me. We're just going to keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. I don't think it's ever going to make me stop. So, should I call it? Or should we keep going? So yeah, if you have other friends with modded switches, they can also come over and swim outside of the boundary with you. And you guys could go exploring for forever it seems. Now I have to get back to continue this video. Something else that I think is cool is that you can walk behind in the airport. Um, this might be obvious because you can disable collision, but you can also walk behind the desk, including at resident services and also at the roost. Oh, and you can also walk above the building, which is kind of creepy, but also kind of cool and like you can explore and it makes you go up hill like you're going up some invisible stairs obviously that includes at nooks and able sisters as well look at poor rosie but this is a really fun and different kind of mod 
that takes away, oh my God, and a tarantula, that takes away the bodies of all of the cats. So my next island is going to be an all cat themed island and I'm super excited about that. And I might just leave this mod installed. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get a closer look at Rosie. So here's poor Rosie. She is just chilling here on the beach. And I did just now install this tarantula mod, which I'll, I will get to next. But um, Rosie looks a little terrified. I'm so sorry, Rosie. I am also terrified. But I just wanted to show you the cats without bodies, but she's too she's too scared to function right now. She was just doing yoga a second ago. But anyways, it's really fun. This mod takes away all of the cats' bodies. So they're left looking like this, and they're called ball cats. I also have Tangy, so let's go find her. Oh my gosh, she's surrounded by tarantulas. <laughs> this is literally a war zone to get over here to her. There are tarantulas everywhere. But look at little Tangy, she's also terrified. I guess I should have taken the tarantula mod off before doing this. <laughs> Poor Tangy, she can't enjoy life. All of my villagers are just going to be scared now. So let's go ahead and talk about the tarantula mod and get back to these ball cats. So as you can see, there is a mod where you can change all of the bugs in the game day or night to be tarantulas. Now, I don't know if they're aggressive because none of them have charged after me yet, but the villagers do seem scared of them. But they are literally taking over my entire island. This is a good way to freak out some of your friends when they come to your island. Now, I'm not 100% sure that my friends would see tarantulas um, when they visit. They might just see the regular bugs that are there. But Tangy is back to being happy, y'all. But anyways, I'm just going to risk it and go towards this tarantula. Maybe I'll try to capture it. They're definitely acting like tarantulas. Ah! Passed out instantly. Let's see if I can get another one. Okay, where did they all go? This is terrifying. Wow. So what, I'm, what am I supposed to do now? The other one's obviously going to get me. <laughs> Another cool mod is one that I don't currently have installed, but it's a mod that makes your able sisters and your nooks cranny always open 24-7 eventually tommy will i think it's timmy will spawn out in the middle of the night sometime i think he just gets too tired and wants to go to sleep but tommy is always there 24 7 to sell you things and take care of business and at able sisters you can also buy clothes at 3 a.m if you'd like but this does only work with the upgraded versions of the stores. So um, keep that in mind before you download it. The next thing I want to talk about is secret reactions. So you can unlock with mods a bunch of secret reactions, including player made reactions like this one that we're going to call bumping. It just keeps doing this over and over. So that way you're just bumping around town. And here we have our little ball cat, Rosie, chilling, doing some yoga on the bridge because that's the only place she feels safe from all of the tarantulas. 
Some other secret mods you can unlock are NPC mods, such as these. This is when they have the heart over their head. This is Lottie's cute kawaii face. Then we have some talking emotes and Nico's high jump, as well as KK's reactions. Plus a ton more that I don't have the time to show you. The next cool thing you can do is delete any villager house or plot from your island completely, even if a villager is living in it or if you haven't sold the plot yet. So I don't have a lot of space on my island, so I wanted to only have eight villagers and I had nine. So what I did was pull up my handy dandy poker core and they have a tool called Bulldozer. In Bulldozer, you can delete any buildings that you want. So I could delete resident services or I could delete the airport, but I'm not going to do that because you can mess up your game. But I do want to delete this last plot I have here, which the numbers got out of order, but we're going to just remove it. And then we're going to press confirm. And when I reload my game, the plot will be gone. And there you go. There's no plot there anymore. The next really cool mod that I personally love a lot is this mod by Doom underscore Mori. And they created a mod that makes... The tanks disappear for fish and sea creatures. So when you place them on your island, they don't have a tank anymore. And they're just straight up chilling out of water. Like swimming around. Look at the shark. He's swimming in the air. And even the coolest one is the moon jellyfish in my opinion. And I did make a short series about this. Part 1 and Part 2 are on my channel in my shorts. But here are just a few of them. And I think the details in this game are so cool. Here we have this sunfish floating above the water. Floating above the ground. Just straight up chilling and... Since I have a tropical island, I do use these all around my island just for an extra fun effect, especially the jellyfish. The next mod I want to show you that's super cool is this mod right here and I would be able to play as Isabelle. This is a really cool mod, look how cute she is. And it works normally, you just can't have any face designs, but you can get dressed up and run around as if you're Isabel. And there's also Anka, which is super cute. You can change her outfits as well. And I think, I know that Blue Bear exists, as well as a few other villagers like Rover. People have gotten really creative and you can also play a zipper as well. If you saw that on my channel around Bunny Day. I also just discovered that tarantulas are scared of you when you have your camera out. I'm walking around in portrait mode and they are not trying to attack me. They're actually running away. What does it feel like to be chased? Ha! Disappeared. Boom. Here's another one. Run. Run away, run into the ocean, jump, jump off. Ha! Another really cool thing you can do with mods is download different music for the game. So currently I have Wild World and City Folk music on my island. And the new Horizon music does not play at all. I love the change of music after listening to the same New Horizons music for so long. I feel so nostalgic going back to those Wild World and City Folk days. 
It also changes when it's raining or cloudy or whatever or nighttime, just like it is supposed to. And finally, the last mod, one of the absolute coolest mods is simply this black basketball tank that when your villager puts it on, they are suddenly, I don't want to ruin the surprise, naked. That's right. She loves the color. And she's going to give me something in return, but let's take a closer look at Marina and her basketball tank. You're looking good, Marina. Looking good. Looking really creepy, actually. Let's give one to June. And now June is naked. Wow, she does look great. She loves how she feels right now, y'all. She loves the color, y'all. Just two girls hanging out, chilling. This is what we do. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope I convinced you to mod your Switch if you can. I do have a tutorial on my channel that will show you how to mod. And that will be linked in the description below if you're interested. Let me know which mod you think was the coolest in this video. I think the coolest mod of all of these has to be the tarantulas all over the island. It is pretty terrifying but also really cool. And it makes me want to make like a spooky island now. But that really just isn't my vibe, you know. I usually have bright, colorful, pink islands. But maybe we can make a pink tarantula core island. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.